Hi, welcome back to our channel. First, we would like to thank everyone for the support and please continue watching our videos because we do still have a lot of videos to make for everyone. And we started making videos for Fire Alarm and soon we'll also do for other fire protection pictures. This video is short discussion about when do we require to install a fire detection and alarm system? Well, a lot of designers, especially those who are still new to fire protection design, are a bit confused when to consider a fire detection and alarm system. Working as a designer in fire protection consulting firm without a clear knowledge of the requirements are even more critical. We might not only put the lives of people in risk who will occupy the building, but it may also lead in increase of expenses to the building owner. It may endanger the people's lives. Why? First, before we answer this question, um, the fire protection designer must know the requirements for designing a fire detection and alarm system. You need to verify the requirements from local code, insurance, or the fire code mandated by your country. But there's a lot of international reference that we can refer like IBC, IMC, IFC, IMC, NAPE 101, NAPE 1, etc. But you as a designer has the responsibility to confirm with the authority having jurisdiction which code to follow. Once the code is determined, then you can now decide if you will consider a fire detection and alarm system in the building. There are different requirements for every type of occupancy. Fire alarm may not be required in a two-floor business occupancy, but it may be required in a two-floor assembly occupancy, depending on the criteria of the code that you use. If you mistakenly not consider the fire alarm in a building which requires a fire alarm because of the wrong selection of the type of occupancy, then we are putting the lives of people in danger, including the emergency responding personnel like the firefighters, trained personnel, and even might cause property loss and business interruption. It may increase the expenses of the building owner when it is not good for a fire protection designer to just provide or add a fire alarm system in a building whenever he feels it is recommended to make the environment safe for people. We, we have to understand that there are also other fire protection features that may be required in a building as part of life safety requirement of the code. This can be the number of exits, enclosed exit staircase, exit sign, emergency lighting system, fire extinguishers, sprinklers, standpipe, and fire barrier. And there's a lot. To achieve an environment safe from a fire risk and to establish a reliable fire protection design, this should be the combination of all those fire protection features that I mentioned as specified in the code. Otherwise, considering a fire alarm system in a building where it is not required or just a recommendation, it's just a plus factor only for the purpose of early warning, but considered also as as an additional cost to the owner. Now, for the summary of this video, we don't consider a fire alarm system always in a building unless the code requires. So, we have to always check with the latest requirement of the code and standards accepted by our AHJ or the authority having jurisdiction. I hope that you find this video helpful. If you want more video tutorials about fire protection, Please comment down below or you may send messages personally to my official Facebook or other account that I included in the link below. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be keep posted of our latest videos. Thanks for watching.